Welcome, modern day mystics, fellow true seekers, James and Justin, back again with another reaction video. And it has been a long time since we have reacted to a Dr. Zakir Naik video, but we're gonna take another look at him. You know, uh, it's, been, it's been a while. I think we've done some maturing since uh, some of our last previous reactions. Um, so I'd like to see some more content of his. Uh, and this is outside of kind of like the typical series that we've been following. Uh, we've got our Army of Satan series and then the Project Zamzam series that we're also going through. We'll get back to those probably next week. Um, but we're going to take a look at this. Uh, this video is titled, uh, Is Everyone's God the Same and Why Many Religions? Hmm. So we won't keep you waiting. Let's get into it. Good evening, Doctor. Greetings to you. I'm a Hindu. My name is Sandeep. And uh, I've been uh, watching your videos on YouTube since long time. Uh, being a Hindu, I do respect other religions. I do uh, respect Allah, Prophet Muhammad. I started my school uh, in my childhood in a Catholic school where I was taught about Bible and Christianity and Lord Jesus. And uh, later on, uh, after fifth standard, I came to know about my own religion being born in Hindu family and today I do uh, at times get attracted towards uh, other religions. Okay, there is some common link between all religions. I have a basic question to you, doctor. Basically, I am from the science background, a pharmacy guy. Today, I am authorized uh, financial consultant. So today, what I look out there in the market is uh, many religions exist on planet Earth. If human being is the same, if human organs are the same, if the human body system follows the same heartbeats, blood flow, the same blood, the same ears, the same nose, if everything is the same, the creator has to be the same, the supreme power is the same. So if the supreme power is the same, why do so many religions exist on earth today? What is going to be future now onwards? Because if I go as per theoretical books, as per history, before thousands of years, Hinduism existed, then came uh, Lord Jesus, then uh, Prophet Muhammad, and now today, what I see in front of my eyes is there are many religions and every religion has its own pros and cons. So, being a human, I get confused. I am a Hindu, I should uh, respect my religion, as well as being a human being, I should respect other religions. So what is the final truth and what is going to the future for centuries ahead? The guy behind him, I noticed from one of the previous yeah. videos that we we did. Yeah. But addressing this before Dr. Zakir kind of gets into his, his answer here, do you have any thoughts or ideas on, you know, the, you know, if everyone's God is really essentially the same at the end, end of the day um, versus the, the, the distinct difference? Um, and before you answer that, maybe my initial thought was I was thinking kind of paradoxically, like maybe it's both at the same time. Sure. Could be. Could yeah. be both. Could be neither. Could be all. Uh, a term that keeps popping in my head most recently regarding all this stuff is um, what difference does it make? It's irrelevant. Mm. You know, what is what is the issue at hand in my given situation or anyone's given situation at any time? It's like. Does it really merit philosophy at any time? I'm happy to hear what everybody says. I'm yeah. excited to hear what his response is. It's a good question. But personally, if somebody were to come to me, like as if I had the answers or something, yeah, which I yeah. don't, but if they did, I feel like I'd, I would be like, you know, ask somebody else. Because to me, it's irrelevant. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I would have had to, I would have to have a belief put into me to, to like respond with, some kind of answer regarding that but yeah. i've spent a lot of time getting answers like that out of my yeah. mind which is fair uh, i understand that that's a totally valid response um and then there are you know there are other people who are more up for that battle they're like oh let me let me get in there we're gonna we're gonna tell yeah, i want to see i want to see differences so let's hear what zakir has got to say and then uh we'll unpack that the brother asked a very good question that there are so many different religions more than 4,000 years back. It was Hinduism, 
then Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, came 2,000 years back, or Christianity, then Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, came 1,400 years back. Some things are similar, some things are contradicting. There's so much of confusion. God, our Creator, is one. Human body is the same. Creator has to be same. So why this confusion? It's a very good question. The reply is given in the Quran in Surah Al-Imran, chapter 3, verse number 19. It says, in Nadina in the Lail Islam, the only religion acceptable in the sight of God is Islam. That is peace acquired by submitting our will to God. Almighty God only gave one religion to the human beings. As I said earlier, Almighty God has only sent one religion. But he has sent many messengers. When he sent messengers who got messages, by the passage of time, the message got changed. Again a new messenger came, he brought a fresh message, again the people changed it, again a new messenger came, it happened for many years, down the ages. But all the messengers brought, the basic message was the same. Almighty God, the last and final message was the Quran. Now you will ask me this question that why did God reveal the Quran 1400 years back? Why didn't he reveal the Quran directly? Reveal the Quran directly? No confusion. You know, my son, he wants to become a doctor. He tells me, Father, Abba, why do you put me into nursery, then junior KG, senior KG, first standard? Why you put me in school? Directly put me into medical college. I said, son, if you want to be a doctor, first you have to go to nursery, pre-primary, primary school, secondary school, medical college, then you'll become a doctor. You can't directly enter a medical college because you won't understand. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who is our creator, he knows very well that human being would not be able to grasp the complete message of the Quran if it was revealed earlier. 1400 years ago, Almighty God, who is our creator, he knows this time, the time has come where human beings can understand the message. So, that so that's an interesting idea, is that you learn things in the appropriate time, you know? Yeah. So that there's steps to things. Yeah, yeah. And uh, that is true. You yeah. know, not everybody... There's also certain things that apply to some and not others, but by and large, things are learned in steps. You, yeah. you know, you crawl before you walk, typically. Yeah. You know? So, I don't know. What are your thoughts on that? Well, it begs the question, like, what now that, you know... Consciousness has evolved, you know, and we are faced with new challenges and new situations that are more relevant today. You would maybe suggest then that we need a prophet now for the day and age that we live in because we have new challenges that we have to face, like global warming and AI and things that people are we back ready? Then, yeah, are we ready? Could, yeah. could we handle that? Could we handle a new revelation? Yeah, as people, can we handle it or yeah. not? You know, a valid question um, with respect to what the established belief is right now, which is, yeah. I think, for a lot of people, no. Yeah. And, or it's, or they may say to us, well, that's irrelevant. Yeah. What's yeah. relevant is what we've already been told and what we ought to do. That might be how the response would go. Yeah. But to people like you and I that are kind of trying to get a framework of all this stuff, look at all humanity's beliefs, yeah. which we're trying to do. Yeah. We're question begging, well, what's next? Yeah. You know, yeah. which may be putting the apple before the cart, really. Yeah. Maybe we ought to listen up and learn a little bit more about this first. That's the reason previously he sent messages which were there, but not complete because human being could not understand, could not grasp. As the message changed, he sent a new message, a new messenger. That's the reason all the messages that came before the Quran, they were meant for a particular group of people and meant to be followed for a particular time period. All the messengers that came before the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, were only sent for a particular group of people and was meant to be followed till a new message came. Almighty God, He knew 1400 years ago was the time when human beings can understand the final message of the Quran. He revealed it. And he sent the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Since Quran was the last and final message, it was not only meant for the Muslims or the Arabs, it wasn't meant for one particular group of people, it was meant for the whole of humanity. 
All the messages that came before were meant for a particular group of people and the message was supposed to be followed for a particular time period. Because Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was the last and final messenger, he was not sent only for the Muslims or the Arabs, he was sent for the whole of humanity. But now today, you ask me, why are there different religions? Our creator sent only one religion. We human beings kept on changing. But even in the corrupted form, I have a formula. I have a formula which will not antagonize any human being. I tell all these human beings, at least believe that there is one scripture which is 100% the word of God. So the Hindus would not mind agreeing, I believe Veda to be 100% word of God. The Christians would say, I do not mind believing Bible to be 100% word of God. The Muslim will say, I don't mind believing Quran to be 100% word of God. So I tell them, okay, now let us agree to follow what is common in all these scriptures. What is different, we'll discuss tomorrow. Let's not fight over the differences. Let us agree to follow what is common and at least we'll be sure that what is common in all the three scriptures, this at least minimum is 100% the word of God. What is different may be the word of God, may not be the word of God, that we can discuss tomorrow. Now when we do a research, and I being a student of comparative religion, I have studied the Vedas, I have studied the Upanishads, Bhagavad Gita, Bible, Old Testament, New Testament, Quran. Now when I do research, I've come to know that all these scriptures say that there's one God. All the scriptures say that God has got no image, has got no photograph, no painting, no statue, no idol. All the scriptures say that Almighty God does not beget nor is he begotten. All the scriptures say that the last and final messenger to come is Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. I have quoted in this session many verses from Hindu scripture that Prophet Muhammad is the last and final messenger. I have quoted from the Bible. I have quoted from the Quran. So at least let us agree to follow what is common. Bible, Vedas, Quran, all three say that you should not have alcohol. And I've quoted that in my earlier answer. All three say that you should not gamble. All three say that you should not have pork. So let us agree to follow what is common. So we have to agree that there's one God. You have to believe Prophet Muhammad is the final messenger of God. You should not have alcohol. You should not have pork. To pray, we have to do the sujood. All these are common points. So I'm asking the question that if you say you are a Hindu, and you say that you respect other religions. I'm asking the question, do you believe that there's one God? As per books, I do. Do you believe that idol worship is prohibited? That's a confusing area. It's very clear in the Hindu scriptures. Yajurve, chapter 32, verse number 3, Na tasirpati ma asti, of that God there is no pratima, there is no photograph, no painting, no image, no idol, no statue. Same thing is repeated in Sveta Setar Upanishad, chapter number 4, verse number 19. Asti. Of that God, there is no pratima, no image, no photograph, no painting, no statue, no idol. What's the term we use around here? Spiritual plutonium. <laughs> We're mixing weird spiritual elements together here because, uh, well, that's never mind that. <laughs> Bottom line is, uh, I was really nodding along. I kind of, I see the intelligence in what he's saying there is look at the commonalities and can we at least start from there? I like, well, I liked the spirit of what he was saying mm -hmm. there and I was almost like, wow, Zakir is like turning into a universalist all of a, all, all of a sudden. And I think he's kind of like winding it back though, trying to like reel in, you know, back into a more Islamic focused thing here is what he's, what he's doing here, but, which is fine, but... I like the spirit. I like the idea of like us getting around and like and instead of bickering over all the things that we don't agree about, what can we at least agree on so that we can kind of like move forward off of that? Right. Um, which in a way I feel like humanity, we kind of already done. What we've got is what we got. We've got like people are, you know, in their isolated countries, their little sects, their cities, their groups, their counties, their towns. And they've chosen to live there because they feel most comfortable with what's going on in that scenario for the most part. Like obviously there's, you know. So I also don't want to do a disservice like, you know, we, we're trying to grow in our um, respect for everybody yeah. that tunes in to watch us, which we're grateful for. But I got to be honest about some things, you know, this idea of 
you know, I haven't thought about things in this in these terms in a long time. You know, like the idea that there's some, something fundamentally wrong with even like worshiping an idol. I'm yeah. just being honest here, you know, and and so I I just want to not be too placatey. Yeah. In some sense, I see the point that he's making that. Look at the commonalities we have. Let's not waste our time arguing about the differences. Yeah. I mean, all the people conceivably that are there or many people across the planet do seem to intend on worshiping one God. Do yeah. seem in agreement that maybe they shouldn't that they shouldn't drink alcohol or whatever the things he, he listed. Yeah, yeah. For those that that's what but that's what connects them, I like the idea of yeah. finding a connecting thing. But I have to leave the door open. You know, I have to leave the door open for something novel. I have to leave the door open for somebody that's kind of looking for something more than that or has some questions or has some contentions about it. Yeah. You know, I said earlier, I'm not a teacher. Scratch that. I just might be a teacher. I'm not yeah. cursing myself by saying that. It's possible that I'm a teacher. And in which case, refer to every other video we've done. Yeah. But the point here is that we are sensitive. I want to be sensitive to people that this is their perspective. Their perspective is this way. And they're not really interested in something, somebody coming along and philosophizing at them at other possibilities. Yeah. It's like, how do we make what we already want to work, work? We yeah. already believe this. Yeah. How do we make it work? I do want to be respectful of that. But the bottom line is, if you want to go a little deeper and explore some other things involving, you know, uh, Islam, we cover that stuff yeah. on our channel. Yeah, our, our Army of Satan videos <laughs> yeah. are like... Spicy man, yeah. we usually get sort of hot and bothered, and you know, it's just a tough. It's a tough well, ask. Here's here's a here's a strange way to look at it. Maybe part of the like um, accepting some of the things we agree upon is that we agree that we're all different. Yeah, and that like maybe we can get maybe we'll get to a point one day down the road where we you know we start you know cherishing those differences that. That are found without, out yes, there rather that, than criticizing. Let's just sit and meditate on what you just said. It was so... I agree with that, man. Sometimes I jump way too fast to the next thing. I do think it is a good thing. I think it's a, a superior thing to start praising the differences we have. And, you know, I don't think that I'm above this. I But I sense sometimes the need for someone to be like... This is how it is. No more discussion. It's how yeah. it is. Let's just go over, like, dig our feet in to how it is. Yeah. When I start sensing that, I'm like, I, it wouldn't be honest for me to like hop on board with that. Yeah. It wouldn't. Yeah. Uh, even though I am subject to that. Because look at what I'm doing right now. I'm, I'm like projecting that very thing out. Yeah. So let's just continue forward and try to be open-minded about it, I guess. What's confusing, brother? I mean, uh, today my knowledge is uh, just like an uh, infant. No, no, your, your knowledge is like infant. When a person of knowledge talks, you should believe it. True. So why don't you believe it then? No, as I said, I don't. When a person of knowledge talks, you should believe it. If you ever, you know, there's different ways of looking at someone that's growing agitated by something. Sometimes you look into the crowd and you'll see a f punk that just doesn't want anyone to tell them anything. That's, yeah. you know, that is what it is. It's like youthful rebellion. And then there's another person that hears a statement like that. When you hear somebody of knowledge talk, you should listen. Yeah. And with a kind of righteous indignation, they're like, uh, no, no, yeah. no. That's not how that, that's not how life works. That when a person of knowledge talks, you should listen. <clears throat> I, you, you'd be surprised at who I would say <clears throat> to. Doctors, judges, lawyers, characters throughout history. I, I actually believe in educating yourself. Yeah, I yeah, I, th I think that is no matter healthy. who you are. I think that's extremely healthy. So uh, not that's that my final outburst. Not that you can do both, <laughs> but yeah, I hear you. Okay. No respect, uh, Prophet Muhammad. I do. No respect. Respecting is one thing. Following is the other thing. If you respect a person, you have to follow his guidance. So again, the question goes in the same direction what I was uh, asking to you that if I am a Hindu, if I believe in Hinduism, but still when I step out of my home, I have to follow my colleagues, the other society members, human beings on the earth. Is it a must? 
Suppose the other society members start robbing. If your other human beings start robbing, even you start robbing. Brother, if your friends start robbing, will you rob? I will have to defend myself. Will you rob, yes or no? If somebody is robbing me. No, no, you said that you have to follow the other human beings, other society. If your other friends start robbing other people, will you start robbing? Will you rob others? I don't think so. There is a point in robbing others. Okay, because you know robbing is wrong. So that time you will not follow society. Follow the society when it is right. Do not follow when it's wrong. God has given you grey matter, brain. Correct? So if your Hindu friends are going against the Veda, will you follow Veda or your Hindu friends? They have to follow what is written in the books. Yes, forget about them. I'm asking about you. If your Hindu scripture says don't do idol worship, will you do idol worship? No, then I will not. So now do you believe idol worship is wrong? Again, as I said, I have to study more. I'm not clear. So, but you study, when you study? Today or tomorrow, when? <laughs> Maybe today or tomorrow. Okay, fine. I have quoted so many references from the Hindu scripture about Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Do you believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God? Yes, I do. If you believe, don't you have to follow his commandments? I may have to. Why may? Again, I'm not If you here. may believe in, then you may. If you do believe in, you do have to follow. It's simple English. If you say, maybe he is a messenger of God, then you can say, maybe I'll follow him. When you say, surely the messenger of God, then you have to follow him surely, why? But is Will it... a messenger of God deceive you? But again, do I have to be a Muslim to follow Prophet Muhammad? Or no, no, Islam? you have to be a good Hindu also. You have to be a good Hindu and a good Christian to follow Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That's where the whole uh, thing If goes. you are not a good Hindu, if you are not a good Christian, you will never follow Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Because Hindu scripture says, the Antim Rishi, the Kalki Autar is Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I gave references, you know, if you want I can give again. Do you want me to give the references again of Prophet Muhammad in the Hindu scriptures? I did listen to your references. I need to go through them. Fine. So inshallah go today. Tomorrow, I would give you the first chance. And there's a lady there. You too, I would give the first chance. Then I will call you a truthful person. Go today, Google, check on the net. I gave at least 100 references. There are more than 100 in my lecture. If you see on Hindu scriptures, talking about Prophet Muhammad talking about one God, talking not to have alcohol, not to have pork, not to gamble. What is different we'll discuss tomorrow. At least what is common, you should agree. So when you are talking about getting human beings together, I'm giving you a formula which will not offend you. I'm not telling you follow that which is not mentioned in the Hindu scripture. I'm telling you follow what is mentioned in Hindu scripture and the Quran. 100% you will be a good Hindu, good Christian, and even enter into Islam. May not be good Muslim. At least enter... And then your scripture says you have to follow the guidance of the last messenger. You have to follow the Quran. So if you follow the Quran correctly and the sayings of the Prophet Muhammad you will be a good Muslim. And I'm waiting that inshallah if we can do it today, tomorrow inshallah we can interact. Thank you very much, doctor. I would hate to be in that situation like up in front of like thousands of people. Oh, it's yeah. too, too much pressure to actually like, because no decision should ever be made off of like the pressure that's being exerted in that type of a situation. I, w I would rather be like, let's go back and reassess and think. Cause like I'm sitting back, it's more comfortable sitting in this chair in this room. And like, there's things in there that he said that I could clearly dispute, especially about something like one of Jesus's miracles was making wine. Right. And it, like, so like it does, it does not say in the Bible, uh, I do not drink I, alcohol, but I, that is like the least of, Yes, and we like intended to be as respectful as we possibly can, but there's so much going on. There's like a yeah. whole social dynamic. He's looking up at him, disseminating the answer to him yeah, with yeah. authority. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And and you know, I'd, if it was as easy as in the Hindu scriptures say, "Don't to have idols," then why have we like reacted to like tons of videos about why, why Hindus have idols? Like the, that's the, just. The the bottom line is you're correct. You yeah. know, I've I've been in the room before when two people were just dis disputing religion and one person punched the other in the eye. I've been in that room when that happened because people flare up and there's so much going on and people are talking over each other and yeah. asserting their authority. 
Yeah. I've got my own opinions about it and, you know, I don't think it's appropriate for me to yeah. criticize yeah, yeah. or go on about it. We'll, we'll wait till for something a little more suited to me to rant about. Yeah, yeah sure, sure. Um, but, you know, what good in, I, 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 to take it back to a place that was, that was good, that I felt like we could grow off was, I, I like the idea of finding things uh, that we can get on board, all of us can get on board and work off of that. And you slowly... You know, maybe it's going to be another 2,000 years before we figure this out, Team Humanity. Uh, but eventually, if we can just tolerate each other and... Uh, Study continue. human behavior, for Pete's yeah. sake. That's, yeah. f- f- do that, too. Yeah. You know, like, so many people want to be engineers and doctors, for Pete's sake. So yeah. you already sh- proved to me that you believe in science. Yeah. yeah. Study human psychology. Study human behavior. Yeah. You know, hum- we do bizarre things. Like, there are people who... If you come at them friendly, they'll come at you nasty. If you expect that they're going to be nasty, they'll be like, hey, what's your problem? Why do you always think I'm going to be a jerk? Yeah. Humans do this weird Perry and Jost thing. So in one minute, minute, it's like, yeah, it's nice that we're looking for the commonalities that tie us together. Mm. Oh, isn't that sweet and nice? But the next minute, it's like, mm, there's too much of that. You know, let's get back into like hardcore rules. We've come too soft. Let's, yeah, let's counterbalance it with like hardcore conservatism yeah yeah. sometimes stuff like that can happen it's like just be watchful be mindful learn as much as you possibly can and uh and if you want my opinion about it i say be as individualistic as you want to be believe precisely the way you want to believe or not is my opinion okay we'll leave it on that note uh Guys, if you liked our reaction to this, please don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, share this with a friend, and everyone, until next time, stay spiritual. spiritual.